All right, as promised, I'm starting off every nightly watch list video with my uh, updated equity curve. So you can see today from January to uh, 1st, that uh, 3rd was the first trading day, so January 3rd, 2017. This includes today uh, another nicely green day, but um, it has been a slow month. It has been a slow month. Um, actually, I had a week off in, in June too, so that makes it even slower. That's hard to make money when you're not trading. Um, but still grinding the account higher, doing exactly what we teach in the course, and uh, that's what matters. Even though some things aren't really running like crazy out there, except for a couple uh, penny stocks today, um, you know, I'm still employing the strategies that we teach in the course and still grinding the account higher, uh, seeing members make $1,000 days here and there too. Um, love the compliments like that. So love seeing the members uh, get paid. And this is where I am. So grinding higher in June. That's what it's been so far. It's been a slow grind. Um, but again, I, as I say in every video, I'm really proud of that equity curve because it is slow and steady. And that's what a day trader's equity curve should look like. No wild swings. All right. So you can see the SPY here. Um, it's just starting, you know, it's kind of in a chop fest, right? Um, hanging out near all time highs, but fairly choppy and not uh, a lot of volume out there. All right. Um, so here's what I have to watch for tomorrow. GLYC, um, you know, this one had this huge move back here, so it's interesting, and then it comes down and really kind of hangs out between 11 and 12. Nice bounce off the 20, uh, off the 20 day here, and you can see this spike was to 1250 yesterday, went to 1250. Today went to 1250. So over 1250, this one might get some legs. All right, now look at it on intraday today. <laughs> it just did this all, you know, after the uh, opening candle then it just takes off and revisit and then just chops around um really really felt manipulated and it, it never got me even really that excited that it would give a trade when you see something do this it, it just doesn't feel right like a 1251 entry um i wouldn't have taken it right because it just there's no reason other than manipulation that something should stay in that tight of a range for hours and then finally um kind of gave up at the end of the day and ended up kind of getting a decent bounce so to me the daily chart still looks decent over 1250, but this be careful with this one. It is a somewhat nasty stock. Speaking of nasty stocks, that's my segue into CCCR, my next uh, pick for tomorrow. Um, I do like the fact you can picture you had a high here, then a lower high, lower high, lower high. So you kind of had a flag below um, the September high, and then as it broke through the flag, you hit new recent highs, right? And now it's flagging again. So it is interesting, um, the two-day high, it hit uh, 331 yesterday, it hit 330 today. Let's look at it on 15-minute candles. Um, again, kind of did what um, what GLYC did, just chopping right below 330. Um, I'm always skeptical when a stock acts like that. Somebody asked me on uh, on Twitter, you know, aren't you, um, aren't you bothered at all by the thinness of this stock and the low volume? And, and my answer is yes, this one can be nasty, but at the same time, um, here's an example right here, 15 minute candle. It went from uh, 274 to three, uh, I'm sorry, over, over a half hour, 274 to 337 on really nice volume, right? So that's a great percentage move. And then you're coiling since then. So this one can move at times, probably because of its low float. Feels a little bit extended. It's kind of far away from the 20 day. So believe me, I'm not in love with this one. And I, I, I'm not sure what it'll get me to take uh, get me, I don't know what it'll take to get me to take it, is what I'm trying to say. Um, it, it's going to have to show some really nice volume or something or a really clean setup. So, uh, in short, be careful with that one if you trade it. Um, CTL is a pretty good bounce play setup. You've got four red days in a row on decent volume down to, you had a lot of trading in this area back in May, right? So, and it's gotten there quickly. A lot of times you get a nice bounce off something like that. So, I uh, want to watch CTL for a potential bounce. Um, ADMP after this huge move. Now you're three red days in a row. Um, was kind of finding buyers down here below five. I actually took a trade in this one today and made a few bucks, but it didn't follow through. And as I teach, I was just back out. Um, but it's still interesting to me. We're going to watch this one tomorrow for a turn back up. AGEN, um, you had a nice pop back here and then a nice pop here, which was below this high. Um, decent volume lately. Uh, I don't have a trigger price for it. I want to watch it trade. Um, so we'll see what it does. Maybe a red to green and maybe four will be above that. So you have a possible whole number inflection point, uh, which would also coincide with a break of um, today's high. So 
This one is is set up to give a nice possible uh, trade tomorrow, depending on how it sets up tomorrow. So let's keep that one on watch. PRAN, extremely low volume, 243,000 shares today, but coming out of nice support. Two or two or three weeks worth of support and a nice pop today. We'll see if that can, and it had a great pop back here. Uh, I remember that day we had a huge trade in it. Um, either that day or this day, I can't remember. Anyway, we had a huge trade in this one back here. Coming out of nice support and not a ton of volume, right? So maybe it gets found tomorrow. Certainly interesting over 250, but again, maybe um, maybe we'll get a different setup, a better setup tomorrow. I also kind of want to see some volume come into that before I mess with it. XGTI, let me zoom in a little bit to give you a better look here. Um, this one had this pop uh, one day and then the next morning it ended up going to 229. Then you had a lower high, lower high. Um, it's really kind of coiling here. And the most recent high was 209. I love it over 209. But maybe again, we get a tight range and a break of two or something. Because then you've got catalyst to the left of 214. And then maybe you, you can get through this 229 and then it could be uh, off to the races. So you have what we call a kind of a, a nice tight pattern, stacked catalysts, and a pretty good setup. Um, so let's keep our eyes on XGTI. HOS, just nothing today, really low volume, but I love this two day, two green days in a row on big volume. Um, we'll just keep an eye on that one. I, it might just uh, take out that three bucks one of these days, and uh, you know I wanna be there if it does. WKHS. I uh, made one afternoon call on this one just over 430, which was right here. And it ended up going to 440, whatever, 447. Um, was a pretty easy trade, though. And now you've got, you know, this high on big volume back here that it hit 446. Today, it hits 447. So you got to love it over, you know, if you can picture a line from here, to you got to love a possible breakout there, especially since you had sellers come in yesterday and all of a sudden, all those sellers are underwater again. This one's got room to run. So let's keep our eyes on WKHS. And lastly, and I'm not in love with this one at all, but RWLK may be over two. I, again, it's a nickel spreader on it on a $1.85 stock, so I don't like it very much, but I was also kind of just um, trying to populate a list. There wasn't much out there. Um, it, you know, Again, trading's pretty dead, but at any given time, we could get a nice gap play in the morning. Um, the teamwork in the room is fantastic. So, uh, you know, I log in every day just knowing somebody might post a, a great setup and, and I can catch you a, a good trade here or there just thanks to the, the teamwork in the room. Um, and so speaking of that, if you've, if you've ever been in chat rooms where you can tell other members are trying to pump a stock to get other members in, um, you know, so they can sell it higher, none of that goes on in our room. Um, if you've ever seen, been in a room where somebody you know, cut someone else down. We don't have any of that. Um, we don't have, you know, any kind of pumping or anything. And we also uh, don't have, it's not a one faceted situation. It's not everybody sitting there waiting for me to call something. It's uh, a bunch of people in the room have taken our course. And so we have um, a plethora of people, if you will, that know what to look for and are running scanners all day. Um, so it, it truly is, uh, it's self-serving, I know to say this, but it truly is the best teamwork of any chat room you've ever been in. It, it, everyone logs in in the morning uh, with the intention of making some good trades, but also finding some good setups for the group. Um, I've never seen anything like it. I'm very proud to be a part of it. So, uh, and, and again, everybody in there is friendly, uh, camaraderie, and uh, a great, great team uh, to trade with. So uh, that's my babble for the day. Um, enjoy the rest of your evening, and we'll see everybody tomorrow.